This new agreement is the fruit of weeks of negotiation between London and Brussels, addressing four crucial areas relating to Northern Ireland. They're the Customs Territory, VAT law, border checks, whether there should be any, and what means of democratic consent there will be for this new agreement. Let's start with Customs. So, under this agreement, Northern Ireland leaves the European Union Customs Union along with the rest of the UK. But in practical terms, it'll be treated as if it was still in the European Union. That effectively adds a border in the Irish Sea. And that effectively means any commercial goods passing from Great Britain into Northern Ireland that end up in the south in the European Union will be subject to EU tariffs that the UK will have to collect. Now, what about VAT? On that, Northern Ireland remains in the European Union's VAT system, but the UK's HMRC, the tax collectors, will have to collect the money. That, at the very least, adds another layer of bureaucracy. Now, what about border checks? How will this be policed? We know there can't be border checks on the land border, but there will be checks at these Northern Ireland ports, Larn, Belfast and Warren Point. It'll be UK officials who'll be doing it, effectively policing the borders of the EU single market. Finally, democratic consent, the most vexed issue of all. The process by which the people of Northern Ireland will give their support or withdraw it from this new trading relationship. Every four years, the Stormont Assembly will vote and a simple majority will be required con to continue the arrangements or end them. Crucially, neither the nationalist or the unionist communities will have a veto. Now, all of that is just to secure the withdrawal and allow the UK to begin trying to secure the prize, as Boris Johnson would have it, its own trade deals around the world, starting with the European Union. Now, in the political declaration today, both sides agreed to go for a comprehensive and balanced free trade agreement, ensuring there are no tariffs, fees or charges. Now, that's the goal, but negotiations over this, potentially even more complex than over the last three years, can only begin if this withdrawal deal is approved.